So you picked up a shiny new PS5 controller and want to use it with your gaming PC because according to the internet, it's possible. Well, it's a little tricky, but good news, it actually is. And today I'm going to show you how to get it connected to your PC and take you through just how to make it work just like it was connected to a PS5. Well, sort of. Stop overpaying for Windows 10 and 11 activation keys. <laughs> With VIP URCD key, you can install and activate Windows for only 16 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. It's fast, easy, and 100% legit. To get started, head over to VIPURCDKey.com and search for the software that you're looking for and add it to your cart. If you're installing Windows, be sure that the key you purchase is the same as what is installed on your system. Once your product is in the cart, you can now enter my new promo code for 2023, RAV25, which will now save you 25% on your purchase. From here, you just need to follow the prompts and purchase your key with your preferred payment method. I personally always choose PayPal. Once your payment is done, navigate to your user center and click on My purchased orders. This is where you'll find your activation code once your payment is processed. From here, it's as easy as copying your key from the user center and pasting it into the Windows activation page on your desktop. You'll now have a fully activated version of Windows 10 that is also upgradable to a Windows 11 if you want. So check out the links below and save yourself some money. Now, let's get back to the video. What's up everyone? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. So let's get this video started with how to simply connect the PS5 controller to your PC. You can connect your PS5 controller via two options, wired via a USB-C cable or wirelessly via Bluetooth. So let's start with the wired option. So to connect your controller via the wired option, you'll need a USB-C to USB-A cable or a USB-C to USB-C cable if you have an available USB-C port for it on your PC. What you wanna do is you're gonna simply plug one end of the USB-C cable into your controller, of course, and then into the available USB port on your PC or USB-C if you have it. And once you do this, your controller should immediately light up and begin to install an initial driver to use the controller. Now, that being said, Windows does not officially support PS5 controllers the way they do Xbox controllers, so you may have to go through a couple more steps to use it, and we'll get to that in a bit. Now, to connect the controller wirelessly, you'll need to make sure that your PC either has a Bluetooth adapter built into its motherboard, or that you have a Bluetooth dongle available like this one I'm showing you right now. Now, these simply plug into your PC and allow you to connect Bluetooth devices via the Bluetooth control panel. To connect the controller via Bluetooth, you just need to head to your Bluetooth devices panel in Windows and click add a device. The PS5 controller connects is just a generic device, so don't worry about the other options you'll see. And once you click that, make sure on your controller you hold down both the PS button and the share button until the controller starts entering pairing mode. This is indicated by the LEDs blinking. After a couple seconds, you should see the controller pop up as simply wireless controller. You're gonna go ahead and click that and it should then go ahead and connect your controller to your PC. So, now that your controller is connected wirelessly or wired, it should just work with any game you wanted to, right? Well, unfortunately, that is not the case with every single game and this controller. Now, I personally picked up my PS5 controller here to play the newly released Hogwarts Legacy, which actually fully supports the DualSense controller right out of the box. Now, I did not know this when I originally bought my PS5 controller, but because Hogwarts Legacy is primarily made for the PS5, I figured it was a safe bet. And come to find out, it works flawlessly with all the haptics and the features that it should have. Now, the most popular and, in my opinion, easiest way of being able to customize and tweak your PS5 controller settings is by just using it through Steam. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and connect your DualSense to your computer via Bluetooth or wired, like I showed you before. And once it's connected, go ahead and launch Steam and activate Big Picture Mode by simply pressing the PS button once or twice on your controller, whichever one activates it. And this actually works really well with the newest Steam update, and it makes your PC mimic the Steam Deck interface, which looks and feels really good if you're looking for that console experience. Anyway, with Big Picture Mode enabled, the DualSense should now be recognized and listed under the PlayStation 5 controller category. Now, the reason why I highly suggest just using Steam is because the app itself has a ton of features for your PS5 controller and does allow you to customize quite a bit, like your controller layout, the rumbles that you want, you can test your inputs to make sure they're working, and you can 
even customize the color of the LEDs in the middle of your controller. One main thing you should definitely do is you should just really have to make sure that you enable Enable Steam Input for PlayStation controllers in the menu and make sure that is checked and you should be good to go. I personally have now played over 30 hours of Hogwarts Legacy through Steam with this PS5 controller and I gotta say it works 100% perfectly. All of the feedback and rumbles it's supposed to have are there and it does make the game a lot more immersive. A prime example is when you're using Aloha Mora to unlock something. When you're using the PS5 controller to do this, the controller will rumble when the gears actually start to turn, giving you a little feedback letting you know that it's in the right spot and ready to open the lock. Very, very cool. Okay, enough about Steam. What about non-Steam games? Well, there actually are some non-Steam games out there that you can play just fine, and I have two examples for you. The first game that I found the controller just works perfectly with and is even equipped with button tool tips in the game is Diablo 2 Resurrected. With this game, the PS5 controller basically emulates a DualShock 4 controller and works without any issues. Of course, because of that, there's no fancy haptic feedback or rumbles or anything like that, but it's still nice to have a game work and not actually break the game, uh, but also have little information tool tips to let you know what buttons are pressing what. Another non-Steam game that works with this controller is probably widely known is the new COD Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this game is set up to support the PS5 controllers and its own game menu so the haptics and adaptive triggers and everything work as they should and actually make it really fun to shoot a machine gun in this game as you get that really fun, you know, tappy feeling in your triggers. Now, what if you don't want to use your controller on Steam and you want to actually take full control of it before you hop into your game? Well, there actually is another way to do this and it's by an app called DualSense X or DSX for short. This program comes in two flavors, a free version and the paid version, which funny enough is actually on, you guessed it, Steam. So for the purposes of this video, I'll walk you through the installation of the free version and I'll show you around it a little bit to see what you guys actually can do with it if you want to. Okay guys, welcome to the DSX app right here after all that uh, installing and updating there. So uh, I already went through here into the, uh, where is it, the settings page and I changed my background just to make it a little pleasing for you guys. You can't, by the way, you can do that. There's some little backgrounds you can do. Um, and, and whatnot. You can like do a couple of different settings right here. There's all sorts of controller settings uh, and things you can mess with. But getting started in this on the home page right here, you guys can see uh, there's a little, a couple little things you guys can mess around with to make sure that your controller is connected. Uh, to make sure you guys know that you are connected, it tells you right there uh, if you are connected. Um, and then it asks you what controller you want to emulate. Um, and most commonly with PC games, uh, Xbox 360 controllers, they work with basically almost any PC game these days. So um, that's kind of what I would leave it at. So that way you can use your PS5 uh, controller to emulate an Xbox controller. And most likely it'll work with, you know, a lot of different games. And then over here, which is pretty interesting, is the uh, the trigger mode. So there's a lot of them. Uh, there actually is a little game that they have that you can download. And uh, it lets you test every single type of trigger, um, you know, rumble or vibration or whatever it is. So that's pretty cool. These text files, I'm, I'm not sure what these are for. Uh, maybe you can load certain files to, uh, you know, do certain things to the controller or whatever. Um, and then uh, for certain games, maybe you can, uh, you know, throw the game in here and actually, you know, get a certain controller profile for the game. Actually, that might even be what the text file is for to load certain controller profiles. That's what I would think it would be anyway. Um, and then, of course, you can uh, apply, you know, this control mode right here, I believe. You do these trigger, you set a trigger to what you want it to, and then you apply it to uh, whichever trigger motor you want or both of them which actually is pretty sick so then you can go to the controller here itself I changed this already to the black version of the PS5 controller because that's what I have uh, you can also select the original white and it looks like they have cosmic red um, that's the only ones but whatever uh, and then of course you can go like this and if you want to change it to an Xbox controller you actually can to see what the Xbox controller emulation would be uh, then back to there um, and then like right there you can sync the button colors or not which is all this stuff is pretty cool um, and then I'll grab my controller real quick and then as you do certain things with the controller it lets you know that your inputs are actually being um you know they actually can you know take your inputs and whatnot so as you can see everything's working uh just make sure that your controller is properly connected and everything's working and then right here like you like i said here's that little game that you can download to uh, try all the different triggers um and then this has to do with your uh profiles for um like your keyboard and then you can make it uh you know actually do that with your controller which is kind of crazy i don't know if i would ever use something like that but hey you guys might do that and then of course like i said you can go to the settings and uh control all the stuff with the actual app so guys it's actually pretty simple it's not too crazy of an app like I originally thought it would be, um, but 
what it will hopefully do is allow you guys to play more of your PC games, not on Steam, um, you know, with your PS5 controller. So hopefully this helps. All right, guys. So that is how to get your PS5 controller connected to your PC and a couple ways to get it working with your game. So as always, if you found this video helpful, please remember to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button to see more tech content like this, especially involving, you know, console related stuff because I have some really cool videos planned involving retro consoles actually. If you guys have been paying attention to my shorts, you guys will already know about this. But anyway, definitely get subscribed to go ahead and see that stuff. But until then, you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you next time.